Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today is another episode of What's for Dinner. So I am showing you a it can be a side dish or it can be like, you know, an easy lunch dish. Um, where it's been, I wanna say famous, but it's kinda just famous within our family. <laughs> Not really anywhere else that I know of, but it's been passed on to me by my aunt. This is actually one of the first recipes that I ever picked up from my family and I love it. She made it so simple, so easy that I still remember this. Uh, 20 some odd, no. Oh. Yeah, 20 some odd years later is not quite 30 years later. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what age I got this recipe yet because then you would know how old I am. Yes, and that's not good. This dish is really easy. So um, all it takes is you use a small, two small onions or you can use a medium sized onion. Normally you would use relish, like sweet relish, but I didn't have any relish, so therefore I just took some bread and butter pickles and I'll just chop them up and mince them really finely. Same thing with the onions. What you normally would do is you just put everything into a food processor, blend it, and then plop it into the pasta and you're done. Over the years I've made some modifications for this dish. And so for example, you could change up um, to use instead of regular canned tuna, what you could use is you can actually use like flavored canned tuna. So I like this one the best. This is my favorite one. It is amazing, amazing. I'm saying it again, amazing. It's the sun-dried tomato one, but like you can always use like the chipotle flavored one if you like spice. I can't take a lot of heat, but I love this one. And I got this at such an amazing deal at Walmart. I got, and normally they're about $2 a can. I got it for like 69 cents, so it's cheap. And it's tasty, so. I've prepped pretty much everything, so I've diced up two small onions here, and yes, I did cry. Um, I didn't try anything, I was in a rush. So I diced up two small onions here. I use, like I said, I usually use relish, but I didn't have any relish, so I just used some bread and butter pickles that I just diced up really finely. Over here, I already have uh, some pasta that I have cooked and given them a bit of an ice bath so they're nice and cold. You'll see a mix of macaroni and seashells. Why? Not for any other reason besides I want to finish up the macaroni. There wasn't enough noodles for everybody. So therefore I added some seashells. Again, this is just like super duper simple. So all you do is you take the pickles, oops, throw them in. I tend to mix it up a little bit here like that. Okay, and then you put in the desired amount of noodles. That is not enough. So once you get it in there, you just gotta mix it up. I love these easy to open tin cans. So I mush it up a little bit just to make it easier to cut or to mix, rather. And then I add in some Hellman's olive oil mayonnaise. So I picked this up because it was on sale and I could, you could use a coupon. It's actually really good. I do recommend it. It's healthier from what I understand and it has the goodness of olive oil and it's tasty. I also add in a bit of lemon juice. If you have fresh lemon juice, use fresh lemon juice. Some pepper. Some salt. Give it a good stir. Of course, what you could do is you can, you can also play with how much mayonnaise you put in. I mean, some people like it a little bit more saucier, some people like their, the pasta salad a little bit drier, so that all of this, the proportions, are really to taste. All right, let's try this out now. Yum, 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 yum. The pasta's nice and al dente. You get the brightness from the lemon oil, no sorry, not the lemon oil, I wish I had lemon oil. But you get the brightness from the lemon juice, a little bit of salt. You can, again, you can salt it up a little bit more if you like. Add a little bit more pepper if you like, depending on how much, like how much of the peppery taste you want to have. But it's nice, because you also, I think I should do like it more with the pickles, because you get that crunch, you get that slight um, textural change in your mouth. Mmm, got pickle. 
great for barbecue, it's great as a side. It's great overall. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm gonna go now and finish having supper with my family. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell icon so you never miss a video. I try to post between two to three videos a week. And if I do have time, I do post up a fourth video. Thanks so much and bye. There's a can. Um, but I got this at Walmart for, what else is distracted me? Ah, it's your fault. Sorry, that's what distracted me with baby. Hi. Hi. You wanna come help? No, okay. So for this dish, you can actually use a right. Nelson, stop it. So I, I, oh, no, I lost my place.